Today, we are here to review how the Department of Veterans Affairs used nearly $37 billion Congress provided in supplemental funding during the pandemic. Now, now that we are at the end of the pandemic emergency, it is time to look back at how well or poorly the VA handled the money. Funding spanned three bills. The family's first uh, Coronavirus Response Act provided about the first 60 million. Then the CARES Act provided 19.6 billion. And finally, the American Rescue Act Plan Act provided another 17 billion. While Families First was a bipartisan and the CARES Act was nearly unanimous, the ARP was jammed through on party line. The rules placed on the VA for spending these funds got looser and looser and looser each time bills passed. By the time we got to the ARP, it looked like a lot, like a slush fund. From the beginning, I was concerned that VA would struggle to account for the money that they'd spent and did it correctly. I wrote more than a few letters about it. Ranking member Takano and I also introduced the VA Transparency and Trust Act to require VA to report to Congress on how this money was being spent which later became a law. We were right in our concerns. Inspector General released an audit of the CARES Act a few weeks ago. We all know the VA outdated uh, fiscal system barely functions under normal circumstances, and the huge influx of COVID money only made things worse. More often than not, VA failed to document why they were transferring the dollars from one account to another, but the problems cannot be blamed entirely on the old system. Despite only looking at the small number of me medical centers, OIG estimates that the VA failed to follow its, over inter follow its own internal controls in over 10,000 supply purchases and service contracts. Those transition, transactions were worth $187 million, and the Inspector General questioned the transition, uh, transactions from, for fraud and waste. But the problems go well beyond this one report. I request more information on the categories that the VA spent the COVID money on, and some of them make sense, but it is hard to see how others relate to COVID. Now, what I'm talking about are things like garage maintenance, pest management, libraries, and vision director's offices. VA regular budget should easily be paying for these things. We have not seen an audit of the ARP spending yet. Congress puts put even fewer uh, guardrails on the ARP money than the CARES money, so that audit may be troubling. Even though these funds were specifically for COVID, there were very little rhyme or reason for how the VA spent the money. One office used it a certain way and the next office did it a different way. Most of the money went toward regular operations or projects that have happened, would have happened anyway. Particularly, no one could tell the difference between a COVID supplemental dollar or a regular dollar. VA saw them like these two dollars, identical. Identical dollars that could be spent what, whatever, however, whenever they wanted. Now the problem with that is, um, when somebody asks for a ransom, they ask for dollars in unmarked bills. Now, unfortunately, that's kind of what we did. We gave you dollars in unmarked bills, and now we're trying to figure out what you did with those unmarked bills. I'm concerned that the VA is getting dependent on these one-time supplementals from Congress. We need to provide the veterans care and benefits in regard to the budget and oversee that money to ensure that vet services are going to the veterans and they serve them well. That is exactly what the Republicans on the Appropriations Committee did last week. They advanced a bill that fully funds at exactly the level the President Biden requested. Let me say that again. 
they advanced a bill that fully funds VA at exactly the level the President Biden requested. The only difference is they put about $15 billion in VA's regular health care accounts rather than putting everything in the, in the toxic exposure fund. But the, the scare tactics from the other side of the aisle over the last few weeks, about a 22% cut, have not stopped. We kept our word and the numbers do not lie. Now I want you to look at the chart we have behind us here. Here were the requests for each of the last three fiscal years. And I want you to look where we were at and where we funded and tell me, does any of it look like we cut to you? Can anybody look at that and say we cut? Republicans are counting to, to counting on being fully funding VA in addition to the billions of dollars of COVID money. We've kept our word. Now it's time to put the partisan bickering and the partisan showboating to the side. It is not helping anyone and is not what we went what we were sent here to do.